Months after instrument sterilization problems caused Brook Army Medical Center to cut back on surgeries, the hospital is showing off a rejuvenated process. Yeah, following improvements and changes, the sterile processing and distribution division is back up to speed. And they invited our Garrett Berger inside the city. The instruments come into them used. They're bloody, they're gunky. And the process to get them back out and ready to use again is meticulous. She's got these put in the right order with this thing here. Multi-stage. You need to get the steam in there to kill any kind of germs that you can think of. And important. If we go down, Nobody can do anything. So when staffing shortages helped cause a backlog in the sterile processing and distribution division this spring, BAMC went from 24 or 25 operating rooms to 12. That also gave us time uh, to implement a lot of the things that we were uh, working on here. A report by the Express News in April said the surgical slowdown followed 73 cases of improperly sterilized instruments in a month including some where organic material like blood or bone were left on surgical tools. I don't know where their source is, but it wasn't from any data from here. Nothing was sent up that wasn't sterilized. The chief of operative services also told us he couldn't confirm or validate that information in the Express News report. He said the surgical slowdown was due to concerns that instruments wouldn't be ready when they were needed because of the backlog. Though a news release from Vamsey also mentioned sterilization concerns from OR personnel. We're finding out uh, people are complaining more about all oh, this doesn't look right or that doesn't look right or they had the wrong instrument in the set. In any case, BAMC has since bumped up sterilization staffing levels and added a fourth shift during the busiest time. It also increased quality checks, has new and updated equipment, and a tracking system. With the changes, they're now back up to the surgical load where they were before, doing about 65 to 70 surgeries a day. At Brook Army Medical Center, Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.